how do you get out of your nine to five? You grow a pair. You grow a pair and realize that that nine to five is not the only thing keeping you alive. You're keeping you alive. Like folks, if people had more confidence in themselves, they would walk out of their nine to five, especially if it's not paying you very much. The only reason you'd do a nine to five is if you don't have any confidence that you can go out and make that kind of money on your own. And guaranteed you can. If you're willing to do the work, I've got up everybody that did finish that job. Y'all see that? Trailer, load it down. Man, I stepped on two nails. Look, I'm busting the fence up. I'm dragging it to the truck. I'm cutting it up with my chainsaw. Didn't see where I was going. Boom. Stepped in a, stepped in a, uh, stepped on a nail. Went through my boots. I said, dang. Hour later, stepped on another nail with my other boot. I said, God. Got emotional and cried. I'm gonna be honest, these were some cheap boots, but I always figured I'm just cutting grass. That hurt it, son. Jeez. I'm about to, I got a big thing of alcohol. I got a foot tub. Soaked both of my foot. Tired of this. Ooh. Ooh. I got emotional and cried. <sighs> what I'm going to do in the morning, grass have slowed. I checked on like six properties today. They haven't grown. Um, Get off work. I'm going to head to the dump. Dump that load. Check on a few more. I might go ahead and aerate and fertilize one tomorrow. That'll be another quick little 500. Fence job was fence job was 400. That'll be another five. That'll be nine. So, speaking of that, I got a check in my truck. I need to deposit. Ah, boy, it hurts. That ain't bad for a slow week. I mean, for for the yeah for a slow week. So it is what it is. Go in here and shower. Get me a nap. Go into my full-time job. And do nothing.